How's it going? My name's Josh, and I'm going to be showing you how to set up everything you need to develop Android games in Unreal Engine 4. So you're going to want to be testing your game on your Android device, which means that we'll need to be able to deploy to Android devices. To make sure that we can do this, we're going to install NVIDIA Codeworks for Android. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you already have the Unreal Engine installed, because um, a pretty important part of developing Android games with Unreal is having Unreal. If you don't already have the engine, go download and install it and familiarize yourself with it. There's plenty of great free content available provided by Epic to help you do this on the Unreal Engine YouTube page. So now if you have the engine, you have everything you need to install Codeworks. No you don't. Unless of course, you have a supported version of Microsoft Visual Studio. The supported versions are 2013, 2015 and 2017. If you don't have Visual Studio installed, go download and install it now and make sure you include the Unreal Engine components while you're carrying out the installation. And once that's sorted, we can then go ahead and install Codeworks. Installing Codeworks is pretty straightforward, there's even a page on the Unreal documentation that'll walk you through it. You just want to head over and find the install location of your engine, and then go into Engine, Extras, Android Works, Win64, and run the installer that you find in that folder. Warning, it is highly recommended that you install Codeworks while the editor and launcher are both closed to ensure that there are no problems with the install. And the rest should be easy. Just click this, click this, select one of these, click that, wait for this, click this, read these, click this, click this, Wait for this. Click finished. And when you're all done, you may need to restart your computer. Now we can set up your Android device for testing. Start by connecting your device to the computer and it should automatically start installing a driver. If not, head over to this page and find the appropriate driver for your device. Then you want to grab your phone and go to settings and find developer options. If you don't see developer options, then scroll down to the bottom of settings and tap about phone. Then tap the build number seven times to enable developer options. And now you can go back and find developer options and head in there and enable USB debugging. Then you can disconnect and reconnect your device, select always allow this computer and hit OK. To check that this is set up properly, we'll go ahead and open up a command prompt by typing CMD in the start menu and hitting enter. Then in the console, we'll type ADB devices, hit enter, and it will give us a list of all the devices that are recognized by the Android debug bridge. If you have an entry under this list, that means your device is being recognized and is ready to test. Now you should be ready to open the engine and be able to test your games on your Android device. If you ran into any issues following along with this, leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do to help. Or else you can always check out the Unreal Answer Hub or forums for advice on any problems that you have. Remember to keep an eye out for all the rest of the episodes in this tutorial series. We'll be covering everything that's involved in the development of our game, including publishing it to the Play Store. And we'll all be done with blueprints. Alrighty, that about does it for that. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.